Kia ora, Year 12 and 13. This is the last excellence question from the 2013 integration paper. It's a really straightforward one, and I think now it's probably a little bit too easy for um, an excellence question because there's once you've done one Newton's Law of Cooling question, then it's quite hard to find ways to change them up to make them more interesting. So I'm going to do this one pretty quickly. There are lots of other videos out there, including here, but also on other maths channels where you can go through Newton's law of cooling slowly. So we've got one here with Ben and his cup of coffee, and the room temperature is at 18 degrees. The first thing we have to do is to write down the DE that expresses what's going on, which is summed up here. Okay, And so we get the following DE that I've already written in. And now we have to solve it and then substitute in some known values. So the first important one is that when T is 0, the coffee temperature is 65. When T is 2, it's 62, and we have to figure out when it will be 54 degrees. Okay, so um, separating the variables gives me 1 over T minus 18. Let's just, oops, where's it gone? And now we can integrate both sides. So here we get the natural log of t minus 18, and over here we're going to put our constant of integration. We're going to go e to both sides, leaving me with t minus 18 is equal to e to the kt plus c. Now that's equal to e to the kt times e to the c, and we can rewrite that constant as big A. So we get down to here. The temperature is equal to 18, plus AE to the KT. So we know that 0, 65 is a point on the curve. So 65 is equal to 18 plus AE to the 0. So A must equal 65 minus 18, which is 47. Writing that back in gives me this. And now we're going to substitute in that the coffee is 62 degrees after 2 minutes. So 62 is equal to 18 plus 47 times e to the power of 2k. That gives me 44 over 47 is equal to e to the 2k. We take logs of both sides. Solving that gives me k is equal to a half of this, and that gave me a value of negative 0.03298. Don't round that any harder than that, or you'll lose accuracy. Um, I think I held it in my calculator when I did this one. Right, so we get a t is equal to 18 plus 47 times that. And finally, we have to figure out when Ben can drink the coffee. So he can drink the coffee when the temperature is down to 54. So the last thing we're solving for is a value of t. So we get 36 divided by 47 is equal to e to the power of this. We can take logs of both sides. And then t works out to be, just leave that like that because it's faster to write. So t works out to be 8.08 .08 minutes. So we should probably work out how many seconds that is. So he can drink the coffee after 8 and a bit minutes. So 8.08 .08 minutes, doing this the slow way really having a complete brain fail on this now. So so it's 8 minutes and 5 seconds. Or 4.8 seconds. Right, so just after 8 minutes, Ben can drink the coffee, right? Ben can drink. After that long. So there you go. That has to be the fastest excellence question video ever. Thanks for watching. I think that ends all of the integration ones. That means they're all done. But if there are any more gaps, um, let me know and I will get them done.